Okay, today I'm right here in my own town of Selma, North Carolina. I was driving around and I noticed this fresh project. Eight houses in a row along here and they go back to the early 1900s. So let's go see if I can find any dumps or prairies out here. Well, I can't get across. There's a big muddy creek going all the way across. So anyway, this would be a prime dumping spot along here because the houses were all along here. And the road is a good 180 feet over. So this is the backyard. So, there should be some stuff here. Maybe I should put my rubber boots on and stomp through the mud. Well, since they're clearing the land, this might be a man-made creek right here. It's very straight, very uniform, and it has that modern pipe right there. This might have just been dug a few weeks ago. So that means there wouldn't be dumps in here, but they might have cut through some privies. But I think we're going to have better look up there where they tore down a bunch of trees. Oh yeah, this definitely looks like it just was made recently, so... It's definitely not nearly as good a potential as I thought. But we do have the equivalent of 10 or 12 acres of freshly graded land over here. Oh, it looks like there's fill dirt on it. That's bad. Damn it, why couldn't I have found out about this sooner? I'm always going off on these long trips to dig for bottles and then something important happens right here in my own town. And now I'm a little too late to find anything because they just brought in tons of dirt. Covered up the natural level. But it is kind of a swamp so I think they would have to do that. But it's, they probably covered up some really rare bottles. I don't even have any Selma bottles because it's so hard to find a spot to dig in this town. Okay, it looks like they only filled it to this one point. Maybe only one third of it's filled in, so we might still find something. But of course, this is closer to the houses, so this is the spot that probably would have happened. Because this is a good 100 yard walk. finding bottles but they're not because how are you going to find bottles with everything covered up? Well, there's probably some stuff around here somewhere but I just don't know how to find it. There's little swampy areas mixed in here. So with all this little debris covering up everything, it's highly unlikely I'm going to find anything unless it's a real big pile of bottles that they spread out all over the place when they came through here. I was about to give up and then I found what I was looking for. They did grade over a pile of trash. You can see broken glass and miscellaneous dark soil. Okay, I recognize that shard. It's a try me soda from the late 30s. Not quite old enough to be exciting actually, but there should be some embossed milk bottles from this town and nobody's ever found any. But somebody claims to have found a few, but I have yet to see them. It's April 22nd and we're still in the COVID-19 situation where everybody's closing up their antique shops for months. But look at that. I found something older finally. Still, it's machine made. It looks like it's probably 1924. But we're getting closer. Whatever glass I do find out here is totally pulverized. So I think I might try walking through here where it's undisturbed. If we find any trash piles out this way, they should still have some intact bottles. 25 feet in and I found a dump already. 
well, a little one. It's a little older, it's aqua colored, so that's probably from about 1919. Then we got a mustard jar. It could be as old as 1923 or 24. Oh man, look at that. It's a jug from the 1890s right there. Of course it's not intact. But look at that. That's pretty old. I think it's turning purple. Yeah, it has a slight purple hue. It doesn't get much light on it because of where it is. And here's another jug top. Damn, I might have to go get my tools because this is some good early stuff right here. Yeah, I definitely should have brought a scratcher with me. There's another big pile right here. Well, who knows? Probably Vernon Creech already came through here in 1973 and picked up all kinds of bottles off the top of the ground. Wow, I see an aqua soda up here. Oh man, it's just a beer. But it's very early. It's got the AB on it. That means it's blown in a mold. That is very old. It could have been a dispensary flask. And there's another broken one right there. So... Where's all the rare stuff? I definitely need to go get my scratcher so I can rake through this stuff. Okay, we're back in the woods. I got my scratcher tool with me. But I see a bottle right there on top of the ground. Of course, it's no good. It's definitely an all-day project to search this place thoroughly. Because stuff is just that well hidden that you have to walk right onto it to find it. It's embossed at least. Hmm. American Brewery. Baltimore, Maryland. I think it's machine made. It's got to be about 1915 or 16. So. Anything else out here for me? We need some local stuff. It's really thickly wooded over here. It's almost impossible to get through most of it. But I did just notice this jug top. It looks like it might be turning purple. Could it be one of the Pepsi jugs? Guess we'll never know. Okay, I think I can walk through this area good enough. little bit of a dump. I see something interesting right here. Looks like it could be a blown in the mold pharmacy. Okay, got another little dump right here. At least it's an aqua blue mason jar. But you really can't dig through these kind of places. Usually you hit so many roots that it's impossible to dig. This is actually not too bad. Okay, there we got a piece of a bottle. Looks like it's blown in the mold. Yeah, it sure is. That is definitely 108 years old or more. So I'm going to have to dig this one more thoroughly. Okay, I just found a cork top Listerine, but it's machine made and these are very common. About a minute later, I just found a broken shard of a soda bottle. It's a little bit of the slug plate. And you can see, if you're familiar with these, you 
Let's see, know anything about Selma bottles? That looks like a Hayo Cola. It's got the SE right there. So that would have been at least a hundred dollar bottle if it was in mint condition. Okay, I found a couple jug tops. They look like they're starting to turn purple. And a couple of broken soda shards. I can't make out what they are. But I see a bottle coming out. It's embossed. It's just the Raleigh's. That's a national brand. Very common in the 20s. And I just found a machine made ink. And I just pulled this one out. Dill's Balm of Life. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever found one of these before. Okay, it seems to be going deeper in this one section. And we got a pharmacy. It's machine made and slick. like a tug of war pulling against all these roots it gets you tired really quick I just found the base of what could be a quart dispensary flask it's turning purple of course it's probably a Selma one I've only ever seen one Selma one in 10 years of being here it was on eBay the first week I moved here sold for $305 and I didn't know whether I should buy it or not I wish I would have because I haven't seen one for sale again. Okay, we just found a broken Tico Cola. I think that's a Selma company as well. Yeah, I definitely have seen one of these that said Selma, so that's a little newer, so it's probably worth maybe $80 if it was whole. There's a broken Barnes and Harold Grocery Company that's out of Goldsboro. I think it's blown in the mold. Probably 1913 or 14. They bottled Coca-Cola for a while. I'm getting pretty tired and I think I got this pile pretty well wiped out. So let's go search some more. <laughs> 